morning students 12th standard physics so in this class we are going to discuss about magnetic field at a point along equatorial line due to magnetic dipole so consider a bar magnet so at point c the point c is equatorial to the bar magnet so at point c we are placing a north pole of pole strength 1 ampere meter so the pole strength is qmc so what is the magnetic field at the point c due to the north pole and south pole so that is magnetic dipole so here so 2l is a magnetic length so from o to s is length l then o to n is also same l then r is a distance from the center to the point c so oc is equal to r then so what is the length that is n to c that is nc so due to that north pole so we are placing on north pole so north pole and north pole there should be a repulsive force so there should be a repulsion so that force that magnetic field points away away from so due to north pole that is bn away then due to south pole so here north and south so there should be attractive force so the magnetic field towards the south pole of the magnet so here away from the south pole of the magnet so that so what is the net magnetic field so this is a resultant magnetic field so what is the net magnetic field due to north pole and south pole of a bar magnet in this direction that is so the magnetic dipole moment acts in south to north but here the resultant magnetic field is opposite is opposite direction so this diagram we are enlarging here so that resultant magnetic field bn is split into two components vertical component and horizontal component so vertical component that is bn sin theta so it's upward so it's y axis so it's plus j cap then horizontal component bn cos theta so it's minus sin so it's minus x axis x axis so minus i cap then due to south pole so horizontal component vertical component so vertical component bs sin theta it's minus y it's minus j cap so again bs cos theta minus i cap so these things we need to apply proceeding what is the magnetic field at point c due to north pole and south pole so magnetic field due to north pole at c so what are the two magnetic fields so b and cos theta so at this point what are the two magnetic field due to that north pole that is horizontal component and vertical component so horizontal component b and cos theta minus i cap plus b and sin theta plus j cap then due to south pole so due to south pole what is the magnetic field so bs cos theta minus i cap bs sin theta minus j cap then what is the net magnetic field so net magnetic field is sum of magnetic field due to north pole and south pole so b is equal to bn plus bs so b is equal to again just if you add these two you will get so we are adding the horizontal component and vertical component so vertical component this one and this one are in opposite direction so plus j cap minus j cap so vertical component cancels horizontal component added together because in same direction so final result the net magnetic field at the point c due to the north pole and south pole is minus bn so taking out the minus minus bn cos theta i cap again minus bs cos theta i cap so bn and bs cos theta all are common so bn plus bs so taking out minus so minus bn cos theta i cap then minus bs cos theta i cap we will get so minus bn plus bs cos theta i cap so bn equal to bs so that magnetic field due to north pole is equal to magnetic field due to south pole so it's consider as 1 so 1 plus 1 twice it's 2 then magnetic field b so magnetic field means force experienced by the unit pole so b is equal to f by q using coulomb's inverse squares law you will get magnetic field b is equal to mu0 by 4 pi qm by r square so r square is a distance between the two poles so here so due to north pole due to north pole what is the distance it's r dash so r dash square so r dash is a hypotenuse of a triangle so using a pythagoras theorem hypotenuse square is equal to opposite square plus adjacent square 
so opposite square it's r square plus l square equal to r dash square so r dash is equal to r square plus l square power 1 by 2 so we need r dash so r dash is equal to r square plus l square power 1 by 2 so r dash square is equal to r square plus l square power 1 so multiply 2 you will get you will get cancel so r dash is equal to r square plus l square power 1 by 2 r dash square is equal to r square plus l square then substitute bn equal to mu 0 by 4 pi qm by r dash square then cos theta so we need to find cos theta so mu 0 by 4 pi so what is the negative sign that is in negative direction that is minus i cap so minus mu 0 by 4 pi 2 qm by r square plus l square cos theta i cap so in triangle noc so noc so base then that is adjacent opposite hypotenuse so cos theta equal to adjacent by hypotenuse so adjacent side is l then hypotenuse r dash so cos theta l by r dash so, r dash equal to yeah, r square plus l square power 1 by 2 so just substitute in magnetic field b so b is equal to minus mu 0 by 4 pi 2 q m l so q m then you will get from the cos theta you will get l so 2 q m l that is magnetic dipole moment so that is pm pm is equal to product of one of the pole strength and the distance between the that is magnetic length then here r square plus l square into r square plus l square power 1 by 2 so what's this this a this is also a so it's a into a power 1 by 2 so by power rule so a power 1 plus 1 by 2 that is a power 3 by 2 so r square plus l square power 3 by 2 then i cap so i cap it's very very much so in which direction what is the resultant magnetic field so it's minus i cap so it's left from right to left so for small magnets so what is the length of the magnet it's somewhat very very less so if it is very very small means r is greater than greater than l so r square plus l square power 3 by 2 is approximately that is l is neglected so if it is l is equal to 1 centimeter if r is equal to 10 meter so 10 meter is greater than greater than greater than 1 centimeter so 1 centimeter is neglected that is l is neglected r square power 3 by 2 so 2 to cancel you get r cube so substitute so b vector equal to mu minus mu 0 by 4 pi pm by r cube i cap so pm i cap that is magnitude and direction you will get the vector so pm is an electric dipole magnetic dipole moment so minus mu 0 by 4 pi pm r cube so this is the final result what is the magnetic field at the point c that point c is at the equatorial line so from this what we need to observe so the magnetic field is in opposite direction so it's c b equal to minus mu 0 by 4 pi bm by r cube so b is equal to minus bm so its magnetic field is opposite to the magnetic dipole moment so magnetic dipole moment acts in the direction from south to north magnetic field is from north to south so okay students so just go through the picture and step into the derivation step by step you will get the final result so just work out in your home okay students thank you